a lot of times we will use a center drill for starting a hole in something. And people will quickly say that much better is a spotting drill. Spotting drill is just short diameter drills. The concept is that you're very strong because in your up short and full diameter. And that's what you do with a spotting drill is you come in, you make a little spot that's the full diameter. And that's, that is very good for starting a particular diameter that matches what your drill is. You've got guide all the way around in the circle. It matches the longer drill that you might be drilling. But you can't do that all the time. I mean, it's a wonderful textbook uh, story, but that's not what you can do all the time. For one reason, it might not be here. It might be back over here, another place where I need to put my hole, and I can't get there with this. So now when I need to stick out somewhere and get there, the advantage with the center drill is, well, you could say, well, just use one of these, just use a spotting drill that's longer. But a spotting drill that's longer no longer has the advantage of being short. The advantage to the actual center drill is it has a large body and a small point. So you're only starting part of the hole. And then from there, you can either go in with the same size drill for a pilot all the way down if you need better accuracy, or go to a larger hole, and you will get some run out in between the two, but at least it's given it a place to start. And you can do that with an off-the-shelf item that all the shops have. You didn't have to make something special. So that's why these get used all the time. And just a regular drill, they bend. Uh, even a decent drill, it bends a little. It, it won't go out there and really work well. As an in-between, sometimes, end mill. Plain old two-fluid end mill. It'll do a lot of times for you. Or, if you wanted, you could take this, go over to your grinder, go, narrow, narrow, and you could turn it into a spotting drill. Now, another thing which is important with this little discussion, too, is let's say I've got center punch marks, and I'll see people do this all the time. Don't pick up on center punch marks with a rigid drill. You pick up on a center punch with a wimpy drill so that the drill can follow to where the center punch mark is. If you're off a little bit, it will then deflect and follow the center punch mark more accurately. And if you need to, you can move the machine to match the center punch. If you want it in a position, get something there that's solid that's going to put it in a position. If you want it to match a feature, then match it. Oh, one other thing that I forgot. Again, spotting drills. If you come down on an angle, lots of side load with this big right there. Where again, if we're coming in a smaller point, it won't be pushing to the side so much as it will if we're coming on an angled surface.